What's up, everyone? Hope you're doing good. And uh, here's another project that's provided by our team. It's a 100% BP project, which you can easily trust. It comes with six different lock types. Right now, I'm going to show you how you can change the passwords and just do like you know do the settings to get the most out of this project. So let's begin with this padlock over here. It's a four-digit uh, padlock. It's a numerical. It's a numerical padlock. Uh, you can easily change the numbers, the digits. I'm just going to type in 0625. Uh, that's how you set. That's how you set your password. Okay, moving on to the next one. You have this digital lock. You can add the numbers, add digits, as much as you want. There's no limit to it. Uh, if I press this plus button over here, I'll add new digits. I'm just going to delete them again. It's right here with this arrow. If I press this arrow. I'm just going to keep it a three-digit password. Okay, moving on to this uh, clock, clock, clock. If you press on it, you can see if it says the start time. What arrows are being shown are going to be shown in the clock. And here, you can set your password in this section over here. Super easy. And then, moving on. To the safe box, we have the safe box over here. It's a three-digit safe box. It it has a realistic mechanism. Uh, I'm going to explain it to you. So this is where you uh, give your inputs. The way it works is, wherever you you internet internet the the first combination, you need to switch to the other direction. So if you're switching. To clockwise, then to enter the next combination, you need to rotate it counterclockwise, and then the next one clockwise. That's how it works, like like a like a free free arrow free digit uh, safe combination. And then the next lock that we have is a directional lock. Like the others, you add an element. Uh, this is three combination line. I'm just going to make a four combination, five combination. This is going to be the directions and that's going to be the password that's going to be set on this lock. As I said, simple, super easy. And then another padlock, which is alphabetical. Mm. You can you can you can give like the five different inputs to it, five different. Uh, letters. Just gonna, you know, give diff this. It it says in in which wheel, which letter needs to be entered. So it works. We also have no, so you can like you know, make it a free free uh free letter lock, four letter lock. That's how you can set it. And an important thing over here is if you wanna like change the letters. Uh, besides the preset that is over here, you need to add your own texture. So that's how it works. Hope this was uh, in informative and gave you gave all the informations and the details that you needed to to be to for you to be able to get the most out of this project.